This is a little song to say hello. Hi. Hi. Hi, 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 hi. Hello, welcome to Drinking Beer. I'm your host, John Plunkett, and today is another episode of the Harvest series. I know it's a little late. I'd never heard of it before. I've never seen it before. And when I saw it, I knew I had to pick it up and try it. It's uh, Wild Onion Brewing Company's Pumpkin Ale in a can. Now the question is, should I drink it in a glass or out of the can? How about this? Since I can't really decide how to drink it, I'll pour half into a glass. That way you guys can see what it looks like. And then I'll drink the other half in the can to see if the experience is a little different. Sound good? Okay, let's uh, let's pop the top. Here we go. Okay, there was no carbonation at all. It did shoot some beer out, but as promised, I don't know how old this beer is. I don't know where this beer came from. I'm not gonna. I'm not going to whine or complain. I'm a man, and I'm drinking this. In the glass we go. Yeah, Jesus. Ooh. That to let me tell you. That's a smell you don't want to drink. Like if the Japanese created, like, you know how they do those square watermelons? Like if they did something like that with pumpkins or created a pumpkin in a factory or a, a science lab, it would smell like this beer. There's gotta be some sliver of pumpkin in this. So here we go. Wild onion, pumpkin ale. Cheers. That's the big O for the amount of carbonation this drink has. Zero. Even though there's a head on it, it's like the flattest beer I think I've ever had. But it's like pumpkin water. It's like really weird. There's no, oh, oh, there's no carbonation. <laughs> Well, as I promised, drink out of the can, see if we got a different taste. <sighs> Wild onion, pumpkin ale, out of a can, cheers. Oddly enough, that is better. I think it alters your perception of what you're drinking. Perhaps. Not enough to know there's no carbonation. I'm not gonna be able to finish this beer. I'm really not. It's, it's starting to make me feel kind of sick. Nasty. I got all excited seeing a pumpkin ale in a can. I don't know why. I bought this piece of shit. I tried it for you. You now know. Don't buy this. See, the scary pumpkin is even telling you, <laughs> don't buy me. And that was Wild Onion Pumpkin Ale. Didn't like it. I doubt you can find it. You might be able to. Spare yourself. If you want to taste good pumpkin ale, <clears throat> watch some of my previous videos and, and you'll get an idea of what some good pumpkin ales are. Avoid this like the plague. Please, God, don't, don't do this to yourself. So uh, there's my late harvest season review for 2011. Uh, my name is John Plunkett. This has been Drinking Beer. Until we meet again, happy trails and keep drinking. We walked along and talked along to we to 
and I level this ground Then I picked up a stick of wood and I Knock that Boston bitch down Watch me kill Watch me kill The Boston girl